Welcome to Pleasure Island. Come right inside, enjoy the ride and see the show. There's so much fun here to keep you smiling. Oh, uh, hey there, everybody. Welcome back here to GMA3. That was a clip you're seeing there from Disney's new live action remake of the classic Pinocchio. And our next guest is stirring up trouble once again in another film. You stir up trouble in a lot of movies, my man. Uh, <laughs> you're going to find yourself maybe screaming at the screen in support of little Pinocchio, Pinocchio because of this guy. Please, everybody, welcome to GMA3. Luke Evans, good to have you in the building, sir. And, and I mentioned there kind of jokingly, you, you play a lot of bad guys, don't you? I actually pay an equal amount of both. Really? Okay. It's just the bad ones always get more uh, mm -hmm. screen time because, <laughs> or, or the, people like to talk about the bad guys more than the good ones. But uh, how does this one compare? This is the, uh, the this is kind of a, a, a nasty dude here in Pinocchio that you mm, get to play. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so you know, Pinocchio's uh, he meets an awful lot of people in that tiny little moment of his of his life that he's away from Geppetto, and they all most of them seem to be horrendous people. <laughs> And uh, he gets sweeped up by this coachman Coach. character who I play. And uh, it all seems quite rosy. He's taking him to uh, a place called um, Pleasure Island with all these other kids, and they're going to have the time of their lives. But what they don't realize is that the root beer that he gets them to drink turns them into donkeys. Mm. Who then he gets, <laughs> uh, he sells them to salt mines. So, yeah, it's a really dark character um but fun to play and look at that drag drop of pleasure island i mean who wouldn't want to go there a, a dark character that's fun to play uh no no you you also got to play gaston mm. now it, that was a was that a how do you because he had a charm about him that was there was an arrogance and charm that was right up my yeah, alley man yeah he's a bit of an idiot <laughs> yeah gaston was a bit of a lovable idiot who just basically you know he didn't realize he was as uh, arrogant and self-absorbed as he was. <laughs> and I, when I played him, I just wanted people to sort of to like him a little bit, going, oh, he's such a, he's a bit of a, you know, a lovable rogue who really turns dark by the end of the film because of, you know, the fact that he can't have Belle. But I think there's a charm to Gaston that um, people sort of hopefully related to. I think they did. He was much, he was very fun to play. Um, but uh, the, co the coachman is just... Uh, Quintessentially bad man. Okay, now, I don't. I want to continue with this theme. Look, I, I love watching you, but you, you're also going to play the Scrooge, playing Scrooge. Mm. Yeah. Mm, yes. <laughs> I need to get away from this bad guy kind of thing, but uh, there's yeah. some redeeming qualities for Scrooge. Himself, yes. yes, the Scrooge does. It's, uh, it's a good old Charles Dickens yeah. novel. There, um, he's um, yeah. Voc the, I, I, I voice the character of Scrooge in uh, in Netflix. Um, animated feature yeah. that comes out this uh, end of this year. Um, it was wonderful. It was wonderful to sing uh, um, Leslie Brooks' music and some new original songs as well. Um, also, you know, just accepting the fact that at 43 I'm now playing Scrooge. <laughs> at 63, 53, who will I be playing? You know, it's like, you know, it's... It's a worrying, uh, it's a worrying trajectory. <laughs> well, but, you, you mentioned the, the, the music you get to sing. Th this is incredible. Look, you're, you're, you live in London now, I do believe, right? Yeah. Um, um, yeah. But grew up in Wales. Mm -hmm. And you said you actually got the news about the Queen um, yesterday at the airport. And what, what was your reaction? And I, I mentioned the singing. You actually had the honor of singing for her at one point. Yes, I did. Um, I've actually met the, the members of the royal family several times over the last uh, decade because of my association with the Prince's Trust, mm. which was um, Prince Charles, who now is King yeah. Charles. Uh, it's his trust that uh, helps young people with grants and uh, education and uh, training. Um, and I've been an ambassador for the Prince's Trust for over a decade. Uh, so I've, I've met Charles several times and um, I've, uh, I s was invited on Her Majesty's 92nd birthday to sing at the Royal Albert Hall yeah. um, with the Philharmonic Orchestra, and there she is. Yeah, she came on stage at the end, and we got to be uh, in her presence, and she smiles at everyone, and she has a very warm, uh, kind energy about her, and uh, she's done it so many times, you know, and you just think, how do you keep doing that? <laughs> and, um, yeah, she, she really is... Uh, she really will have left. She will leave a huge hole in, in, in a lot of people's lives. And she's just been a presence in my life um, for all of it. And um, it's, a, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a sad moment. Well, Luke, you got a lot of fans around here. It's a, been an absolute pleasure getting a chance to watch you. But also, it's a pleasure to be able to sit here and hear you reflect 
um, on the Queen. And, mm. uh, and uh, we understand what you mean. You didn't want to get on that plane, but it's, uh, it's yeah. good to have you here, though, brother. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so Cheers. much, folks. We want you to know Pinocchio is going to be streaming now on Disney+. Plus.